to actually go go across the pond because that's who the Vi- Vikings play the Saints over in London. That's a 7.30 Mountain Time kickoff on NFL Network. Vikings two-and-a-half-point <laughs> favorites. And they, are, Ethan, I, I'm guessing you're a little bit nervous because this is the first time the Vikings are playing in London without the without the queen alive. So RIP Queen Elizabeth, are, are is that something you're nervous about? Is well, okay, hold hold uh, on. No, that I was that was, was hold, that was ridiculous because this is the first time any NFL game is going on without the queen. It's just you made you made a you made a horrible joke there. You, uh, come on now, no, that, that's, that's, it was not a horrible joke. It, it it's a real thing. Well, yeah, but you could you could have said. Saints when too, was the last to... time? I don't I don't know the last remember the last time the Saints played. I remember the last time the Vikings played there. It was when I was a freshman in college. They played the Steelers in London. They played they played the Browns there in 2017. If you don't the Saints did. Say it was before that. Oh no, the Vikings did. The Vikings. Oh, the, the Vikings. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. They're two and zero. Oh. The Vikings are undefeated while Queen Elizabeth was alive. This is the first time they're going over to London and she hasn't been alive. You can say that about any NFL team. Nuh-uh. There's team been teams that have lost in London since since the uh, when the Queen was alive. The Browns have, yeah. the Steelers have, the Jaguars, we all know have. Bears, I believe. This this, this is ridiculous. Man, just have some respect for the royal family. Jeez. Unbelievable. I don't really care about this the isn't family. your team. This isn't your team. Let's let Ethan talk. Okay, Ethan. Ethan, the floor is yours. I'm no, sorry. She for... was the only reason we didn't win by more in those games. She was the reason we were holding us back. So she was paying the officials. It's pretty obvious to keep the Steelers and Browns in the game. So we should win by 20 plus on Sunday. <laughs> okay. So you're saying without the queen, the Vikings, uh, it, it the Vikings are going to win by 20 uh, on Sunday. I right? mean, I, or, I think the defense. Um, our, our secondary kind of sucks. So, I mean, Chris Olave might go for 150, but um, that's if Jameis Winston's ribs make it across the pond with him. Who knows? They're so cracked right now. I don't know what yeah. the hell. There's his back. Did, I, did I hear a rumor Andy Dalton might be playing? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I saw heard that. that as well. The, the redheaded rocket might make an appearance in Ireland. Um, or I not Ireland, wherever the fuck they're playing. I don't know. Um, but, uh, is it who's the redheaded son? He might be very proud. Ed Sheeran, the prince. Prince Harry. Prince oh, Harry. Prince Harry. Yeah, he'll be he'll be ecstatic. Another redhead well, getting in, 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 across the pond. What's funny is, is they kicked him out of the royal family. I think. He no no. I know he why. He what did he do? He well, his his wife is kind of a uh, kind of a bitch, from what I've what well, what I've know, gathered, he, he and liked and, her so far. And uh, Jameis said he plans to play on Sunday, according to uh, you know, what ESPN. Comes from most, the devil bit back on the queen for yelling at her. Could be. <laughs> uh, you know how many secrets she took to that grave? God, that would have been amazing. A Man. lot of a lot of people with that level of power have taken a lot of secrets to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, the Vikings win, probably not by 20, but I'll say by nine. Okay. Well, because okay. I think you got to think this. The Saints offense has not been good this year. And, I mean, is Jameis going to turn it over three times this, this week? I mean, if he plays. we just – I just – I don't know if I can trust him. Yeah. I just, well, yes, it fine. sounds like he's going to play, but, I mean, I, I, I would blitz, blitz the hell out of him. Get pressure on him. Keep yeah, hitting oh, him. Yeah. And make yeah, him make, uncomfortable. Make his make, that, make his day just terrible. Make sure that ball comes out quick and make him uncomfortable. Because he's gonna if if you keep getting pressure on him, you know he's gonna turn it over. He's gonna give you a free one. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But, and you know the Saints, the Saints offense has not been good this year to start start off. And what makes what gives me any confidence that they're gonna fix it on a week when they got to travel six different time zones and you know play in a different continent so like you said just just blitz the hell out of him make him feel uncomfortable and he's gonna give you he's gonna give you one or two freebies 